Now, there is still plenty of debate on whether esports should be called a sport, as there is no actual physical movement involved apart from the thumbs in most cases. Now, however you want to define it, though, esports is growing at a massive rate, and it looks like it's here to stay. In 2015, the total number of people participating in esports as players, spectators, and betters was around 235 million. Now, that figure grew to 385 million in 2017, showing well over a 50% growth. Now, as far as revenue grows, the industry generated around $325 million in 2015 and a whopping $696 million in 2017, again doubling in two years and indicating exponential financial growth. If these trends are anything to go by, the next few years looks very bright and exciting indeed. Now, today I'm joined by our regular guest. Many of you know him from our team bankroll football shows, uh, who also topped the profit charts with a staggering 63.8 units of profit, Mr. Martin Green. Martin, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me, Natalie. Yeah, very <laughs> excited to have topped the, um, top the bankroll league, considering there are so many fantastic tipsters in there. So, um, glad, glad that we had a great season. Everyone pretty much finished in profit and uh, yeah hoping that we can continue that streak into next season and for the World Cup. Absolutely I am super excited and I tell you this is very exciting times for the esports market and it is relatively new uh, there's a lot of money to be made I hear. Uh, now if we haven't already looked or if there are viewers that haven't looked into esports betting I'm um, including you know myself I'm just uh, sort of dipping my toes in I know you've uh, already sort of uh, got there and uh, you are the man to talk to but if we haven't already got involved what do you recommend or ways to get involved, for, uh, for example, um, opening up a bookie uh, that is offering sort of best lines for esports betting. Which bookies would you recommend? Sure. Well, it's already a massive, massive industry. You mentioned the amount that esports is worth, and it's top to go past the billion dollars in 2018. But esports betting is projected to stand at $7 billion in 2018. And it's getting to be a relatively mature market with a lot of bookmakers, particularly ones that got off from the very start, like Pinnacle really put it at the center of its offering. And already a couple of years ago, uh, eSports had already overtaken golf, rugby, popular sports like that with Pinnacle. And it continues to gain traction and it's going to eventually take on the likes of basketball, football, sports like that. So I'd say Pinnacle is a good one to try. If you're over in the States, I think Bavada would be a good one. You can get Bet365, Unibet, Betway. These all have thriving esports offerings. And it's only going to go in one direction, really. The market's going to mature and the amount of betting options that you have is just going to increase exponentially. Right now, there's a lot of betting on who's going to win certain tournaments and who's going to win certain matches. But prop bets is becoming increasingly popular, like who's going to be the first to 10 kills, things like that, and skin betting. So the sky's the limit, really. It's a very exciting time for this burgeoning industry. Very, very cool. What are the main games uh, that are out there at the moment? There are new games coming onto the market all the time, but you've got quite a core of established um, heavy hitting games. Basically, League of Legends, uh, Dota 2, Defense Against the Ancients 2, that is, uh, Overwatch, Call of Duty, Counter Strike Global Offensive is massive, StarCraft. Heroes of the Storm, and then you've got upcoming Battle Royale shooter games like Player Unknown and Fortnite, they're doing very well, and also a lot of actual traditional sports, their esports spin offs like NBA 2K and FIFA are growing in popularity. I'd say right now, the ones really to watch out for from a betting perspective are League of Legends, Counter Strike Global Offensive, and Dota 2, and maybe a bit of Overwatch as well. I'd I wouldn't suggest going for every single one of them and just throwing money around haphazardly. They all have their own nuances and they're quite technical. So I would suggest becoming an expert in one or two of them and focusing on that rather than stretching yourself too thin. Yeah, yeah. I've just been uh, speaking with uh, Adam Booth, who is a CSGO uh, betting expert. Uh, so uh, for those watching, do uh, look out for those videos as well. Where can we watch uh, these tournaments 
uh, taking place? You've got a few options, really. Funnily enough, it might some people might struggle to believe it, but fans actually pack out stadiums to watch esports take place live now. Uh, Dreamhack Austin's just happening, and these things are massively popular. You can even watch it on TV sometimes as well. Uh, ESPN's had a bit of esports coverage, so has TBS. But by far the most popular way to watch esports is by going online. Twitch is the big one. Just go on Google Twitch and you'll get to it. YouTube is massive, or you can go on Mixer. There's a couple of other ones like that. There's so much content out there. There can be quite a lot to sift through, but it's quite easy to find the official channels of the games and the big channels so that you end up watching the really big, interesting matches that bookmakers, sports books are going to be running lines on. Yeah. And would you sort of suggest sort of uh, obviously checking out sort of certainly like the main games uh, that you've mentioned. So checking out the main games you've mentioned, see which one sort of appeals to you and then start focusing on that game to sort of become a bit of a betting expert or pro on that particular game. Is that sort of is that sort of the, the strategies that you would suggest? Yeah, certainly. I would definitely suggest that. Um, Dota 2 is the most lucrative for professional gamers because it's quite a hard one to master. You have a, a tournament every year called the International and that has a prize fund of more than $20 million now. So the team that won it last year, Team Liquid, their captain Kuroki is now the highest paid esports star of all time. And um, that's where a lot of the money is. But that's a very technical game. It's very strategic. So, so there are fewer stars of that. A lot of people prefer shootouts like Call of Duty, um, Overwatch, Fortnite's doing very well. So there's all sorts of different games to suit different personalities from the really geeky to the really intense. And uh, yeah, I would suggest just getting involved, having a look at a few of them. Starcraft is a brilliant game. And just, just pick the one that you like the best, really. There's so much information out there uh, on forum posts and social media where people talk about new and exciting up-and-coming teams that can topple established giants. And because it's not as um, established as traditional sports, I'd say the bookmakers aren't quite as uh, hot on it. So you can find some interesting lines and you can get a bit of value. And it might be easier to catch them out than it is with more widespread popular sports like football and basketball say yeah and, and like in uh, you 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 just mentioned um, a player there the uh, highest earner um i was going to ask you uh, like like in soccer you know we, we've got ronaldo we've got messi is there a sort of an esports version of those players that is the sort of the the big big hitters of the uh, esports world well i mean if you look at the highest paid players of all time it's basically the team liquid that won the international last year it's kuroki miracle universe mind control that team because um that tournament is just so lucrative due to sponsorship deals and general interest in it uh, but the, the international 2018 will take place and a new bunch of um players will come and blow them out of the water there are more established um stars and i'd say league of legends is a very popular game so faker for me would be the real exciting superstar of league of legends so i would put faker as your equivalent to cristiano ronaldo or lebron james or something like that cold zero plays cs Geo CSGO is uh, very, very popular. Menard, you know, Street Fighter, with all, the, um, with all the developments in technology, there is still a lot of room for classic games like Street Fighter, and Menard is hugely popular there. You've got Formal, who's a very big Call of Duty star. Um, Snakebite playing Halo. So there's, there's a range of really, really exciting stars in all of these games, and... Um, yeah, that's that's only helping broaden the appeal of it, really, and helping its um, footprint spiral. Yeah, well, talking about footprint uh, spiraling, uh, USA have now sports have made sports betting legal on a federal level. It was announced just yesterday. Uh, first question is: I, I'm guessing that that includes esports, and if it does include esports betting, then where do you predict esports growing in the next uh, next few years by 2020, say? 
yeah, it was uh, massive, massive news that this is finally happening. Um, they didn't mention esports specifically in the judgment, um, but it, it absolutely can be covered. Uh, it, there's, there's obviously a lot of red tape to get through. There's a lot of hoops for people to jump through. Each state has to vote whether or not it wants to allow sports betting to be legalised. But given the revenue that is at stake here, you would imagine that virtually all of them would go for it. And there's absolutely no reason why esports shouldn't be part of that. Mark Cuban is already pushing for it very vocally. And I just can't see the popularity of esports slowing down in any way, shape or form. It's more popular among younger adults than it is among than, than traditional sports are. And they're the future, basically. They're growing up with this technology and they love it. So I think you could you could turn a blind eye to it. But the best thing to do is embrace it because it's only going in one direction. It's only going to become more widespread. There's multi-billion dollar industry already. There's massive contracts and prize money and sponsorship deals. And all the bookmakers are taking it very, very seriously. So, uh, yeah, rather than trying to ignore it, I would uh, I would get involved and check out what all the fuss is about. All right, so basically world domination. We are starting to cover it here at sportsbookreview.com, so uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, coming up shortly, um, as well as uh, we will be looking at the playoffs uh, preview with Adam Booth. Uh, that was Martin Green for sportsbookreview.com. Martin, thank you for joining us today. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.